Hello everyone. So we will see a very important uh, transaction code SCC file which is used for deleting a client. In for example, say a user who created a client 500 by mistake, which he supposed to create a, another client. So at that time, if you want to delete a client which he has created by mistake, then how he will going to create a client? So to delete a client, you need to use the transaction SCC file. Okay. So here, let us delete the client two zero zero. So for that, you need to log in with the client which you are trying to delete so if you are trying to delete 200 you need to log on with 200 say user john and enter the password now enter the transition scc file enter so it's telling client to be deleted is 200 so if you as I told that like, deleting in background will be better because if you delete the client in dialog it could take longer time because you don't, don't know how much data in the client will take a longer time more than the dialog work process will hold so that's why it's better to delete a client in background and that too in the night time so you can schedule the job for that so here you are seeing the checkbox, uncheck box. What happens if you check the box? And what happens if you uncheck the box? If you uncheck this box, the client will be deleted, but still it will be in the table T000. So to completely delete the client from the table also, then you need to check this box. So once you check this box, then you will be deleting in background so hit the delete in background now it's telling which background server it's optional whether you want to give if you have any background server if you don't have then you can leave it as it is so schedule a job for that so if you want to schedule the job immediately but as I said like it's better to schedule the job in the night time as the users will be working in the daytime and they can be affected from the performance issue so so once you given the night time you just need to select uh, or say immediate now I'm showing just immediate but you need to select the time for the night time okay immediate and click on save now it's saying that you have chosen the following parameter for the target client so all the customizing data, authorization profile roles, application data, user data, everything and also the entry will be deleted from the table T000. Say continue and once you hit continue it will pop up with the window saying that if you want to monitor that the client has been deleted successfully or not then you need to log on with SCC3. Let's go to SCC3, hit enter, you will see the lock here. So this is how you are going to delete a client if in case you did a mistake creating us other client. Okay, thank you so much, bye.